Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we're going to be comparing two of the most popular VPN services on the market, which are Surfshark and Express. We're going to take a deep dive into the features, pricing, and overall performance of both VPNs to help you make a more informed decision on which one is the right choice for you and your situation. And if at any point you'd like to go straight to the pricing and discounts, you'll find the latest coupon codes down below. Okay, so first of all, the privacy policy of a VPN is definitely of utmost importance. And it's crucial to not blindly trust a provider's no logs claims without evidence. And in this case, both ExpressVPN and Surfshark have independent audit reports under their belts conducted by reputable companies such as Cure53 and PricewaterhouseCoopers, and all their independent audits resulted in very great standing. And this just shows a lot of transparency on Express and Surfshark's part and how they handle user data. Now, both VPNs do offer DNS and IPv6 leak protection and run their servers on RAM disks rather than hard disks and any minimal information stored in the RAM drives are erased with every machine reboot. And of course, thanks to the no log policies, both VPNs are strong options for protecting user privacy while browsing and downloading files. However, ExpressVPN has a standout record in this aspect as evidenced by a real life scenario in 2017, when the Turkish government seized an ExpressVPN server but could not extract any information from the server due to the fact that ExpressVPN did not store any information on their servers in the first place. And this incident serves as a clear testament to how ExpressVPN handles user data and how much they uphold their no logs policy. So now in terms of performance, VPNs typically result in some speed reduction due to the time it takes to encrypt traffic, but a good VPN should minimize those speed drops. In my test, both of them performed super well, with ExpressVPN being faster than Surfshark, but just by a small margin. So now most of the servers with both VPNs had speed drops between 10 and 30%, but ExpressVPN managed to surpass Surfshark by keeping the speed drops between 10 and 25%, and sometimes even 10 and 20%. Although Surfshark is slightly slower than ExpressVPN, it still maintains a respectable speed with the speed drop drops ranging between 12 and 30%, depending on the servers you're connected to, and depending on the distance. Of course, now for streaming and torrenting capabilities, both VPNs allow for unlimited torrenting without any bandwidth limitations or throttling, which is really great. And so what this means is, you can download files without worrying about anyone tracking your activity. However, if you don't have the best of connections and you know you do need constant speed, then I would recommend ExpressVPN, especially for streaming. But Surfshark can still offer high quality streaming for those with fast internet connections. So really, at the end of the day, both VPNs are definitely excellent for streaming and torrenting, and the choice between them depends on your specific needs. Now, when it comes to servers, ExpressVPN and Surfshark both offer a wide range of servers to choose from, with ExpressVPN offering over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, and Surfshark with over 3,200 servers in 100 countries. So really, plenty to choose from. Now, when it comes to security features, both VPNs offer similar features such as the AES-256 bit encryption, a kill switch to prevent any data leaks, and split tunneling to allow users to choose which applications go through the VPN tunnel. However, Surfshark's split tunneling feature is not available for iOS and Mac users, and it is not available for the Mac OS and iOS applications for ExpressVPN either. But keep in mind that for ExpressVPN split tunneling is not supported on Mac OS 11 and above. Now, ExpressVPN is designed to be very easy to use and relatively bare bones. So that's all you're gonna get with regards to features, you know, a handful of protocols, a kill switch, and split tunneling. And then with Surfshark, it offers additional security features, such as an ad blocker, specialty servers, including static IP or dedicated IP servers, and multi-hop or otherwise known as double VPN servers, which encrypts your traffic twice for added security. So it's really great. Now also, Surfshark offers rotating IP, which automatically rotates your IP address every 5 to 10 minutes which can be very useful in countries with heavy censorship. And you do have no borders mode to help you connect from countries with restrictive firewalls. 
Now, it is important to note that Surfshark might require some manual configuration to work in some countries like China, for example, while ExpressVPN can be easily set up without any additional configuration. So this makes ExpressVPN the best choice for those traveling to China or really Chinese citizens looking for a reliable VPN service. Now, when it comes to protocols, both VPNs offer a variety of options, with ExpressVPN including OpenVPN and their high-speed proprietary protocol Lightweight. On the other hand, Surfshark offers OpenVPN and the fastest protocol they have is WireGuard, which is definitely the protocol that you want to use. Now, keep in mind that some protocols may or may not be available depending on the device that you're on. But for the most part, the WireGuard protocol for Surfshark and the Lightweight protocol for ExpressVPN are available on all platforms. So really, you don't have to worry at all. Both VPNs have excellent security features. Surfshark does offer a wider variety of options if that's what you're looking for. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Now, as far as compatibility, both VPNs support major platforms such as iOS, Android, Mac OS, and Windows, as well as Linux compatible routers, gaming consoles, streaming sticks, and devices, and more. However, when it comes to simultaneous connections, Surfshark has the advantage as it allows an unlimited number of connections with just one subscription, while ExpressVPN allows for up to eight, and if you want unlimited devices with ExpressVPN, you're going to have to install the VPN on a compatible router, and then everything connected to that router will be connected to ExpressVPN as a result because it's the router that's secured. But now both VPNs have user-friendly interfaces with ExpressVPN having a very simplistic design and Surfshark having a sleek and modern layout. But both are very easy to use either way. And finally, as far as the cost, ExpressVPN gives you three plans to choose from. So they have the month at a time plan for $12.95 per month, a six month plan for $10 per month, or a 12 month plan for $8 and 32 cents per month. However, if you use the link in the description down below, you can get three months free. And so the 12 month plan drops down to $6.67 per month. So they're really good pricing. Now, just out of curiosity, I actually spoke with Express and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more on the monthly renewals than they would have with a yearly plan. Because the typical pattern is that people renew monthly and I was thinking they don't need it that long. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, they end up spending more money than they would have going with the year plan, especially with the discount code we provided down below. So ultimately, you know, if you know that you're not going to need Express for longer than a month, you should definitely get the month plan. But if there's a chance that you might end up using it longer than a month, you might want to go with the year plan. And then if you change your mind, you know, realize you don't need it that long, you can always get a refund and go back to just a month at a time plan. In contrast, Surfshark is a budget-friendly choice at just under $2 per month for the two-year subscription. But if you're looking for discounts, be sure to check the links in the description down below for the latest available discount. But either way, both Express and Surfshark offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all their plans. So if you're not satisfied for whatever reason, which I do not think should happen, you can ask for the refund through the 24-7 live chat support. So overall, both Express and Surfshark are excellent options, and the decision really depends on your budget and the features that you need and looking for. Now, Surfshark is an excellent option if you want a cost-effective VPN with top-notch features and unlimited device connections. So it's really a great budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the essential features that you need. However, if you prioritize a reliable, easy to use VPN and the strictest privacy policy, especially for anonymity or restrictive countries, then ExpressVPN is the clear winner here. It's the most consistent and dependable VPN in the industry. Personally, I value that kind of simplicity and ease of use over the extra features because I don't need any extra features besides the kill switch and split tunneling occasionally, making ExpressVPN my preferred choice. But nevertheless, the decision is entirely up to you. And it depends on your unique needs and preferences because at the end of the day, I do recommend both VPNs to friends and family 
It just depends on your specific needs and really what you're looking for. So now that's pretty much it for this video. Again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discount as well as full reviews in the description down below. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions as I love to interact with you guys. And like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or would like to stay up to date with our future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.